Hey guys, my name is Jeremy Iron and today we're going to be creating this half realistic, half animated version of Scar from the hit movie, Jumanji. I think this cake looks pretty sick, so let's get started. Now if you like what I do on this channel, make sure you hit that like button, it really helps me out in the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm that nobody knows how to figure out, but some people have, just not me. Now to create this cake, I'm using my PVC pipe stand and I'm just stacking a whole bunch of cakes. Look how that slides so well. I'm starting with 6 inch cake, 4 inch cake, 6 inch cake, 4 inch cake, don't cake. It doesn't even matter, these were the wrong sizes. I had this idea, like a lion has like the legs, so we would start with a 6 inch and then it would go into like a 4 inch for the torso and then get bigger for the mane and then it would get into smaller and then the dome at the top would be the top of the head. But, uh, duh, no. Scar is a really scrawny lion. So the cakes I was using was pretty much making him a thick girl. Thick with five C's. So what ended up happening is after I finished stacking all of the cakes, when I was carving, I carved so much cake away to create the shape of Scar. And most of the images of lines that I googled, the iron was really like thick and built and I needed something scrawny so I searched starving diseased lion and it was so sad. You don't want to look at starving lions, it's really depressing. <laughs> There's like one picture where it's like this old lion, he's too old to hunt so he's just starving to death. There's not really much we can do, that just happens in the wild. That just happens. Pride Rock is not real. So I carved away a lot. I could have carved away more because I don't think this guy is as skinny as I want him to be. But after I did that, I gave it a crumb coat and placed it into the fridge. And I finished watching The Lion King. Scar is one of my favorite villains because he is so deliciously evil. He, I think he has probably the best villain song. When Jeremy Iron, the voice of Scar, sings Be Prepared and he shouts the line, you won't get a sniff without me. There's something so magnificent and so intimidating about the way he executes those lyrics. It's my favorite line in the movie. I'm hot, you guys. I'm like so hot and I'm wearing a jean jacket for continuity, but um, it's getting to me. Now let's get back to this cake. And I'm adding just a little bit more detail because I think I carved away a little too much by the legs, although his belly's still pretty thick. As evil as Scar is in the animated series, he has this really nice, luxurious, almost like a forest brown. But because I was trying to go for a more realistic look, I decided to go with like an uglier brown. Now when I added all of the rib textures to look like you could see his ribs, it looked not believable because he still looks pretty thick. <laughs> but that's okay because all of the texture I created for his front and his back legs make up for it. I'm pretty proud of how realistic those legs look. Now I've got a ton of Lion King cakes on this channel. I got a Pumbaa cake, I got a Silhouette cake, I got a Simba cake, and I got a Scar cake. So if you're looking for some awesome party ideas, make sure you check out my entire playlist. I should have made Mufasa in the clouds. That was what I wanted to do. I wanted to do another one, but I was like, I ain't got time for this anymore. You done done too many. And you made Pride Rock? That's way too many. After I finished his body, I added fondant to create his head. And this was the most intimidating part of creating this cake. I've never created a lion cake. I've never created a realistic animal cake that looks like this. And because I was merging aspects of the animated scar with realistic details, I, I didn't know if it was gonna work. I tried to make sure that all of the proportions of the animated details showed through when I was crafting this cake. And then I just added realistic detail to all of those proportions. Adding scars, actual scar, was extremely satisfying. After that, I started to add fondant to create his mane. Now instead of going completely black, I'm using a little bit of like a chocolate or dark chocolate brown. Most of his mane will remain black, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough color in it so that I could blend it in with the rest of the cake. And when I was working on the back of this cake, this is where I messed up. In LA, it is like scorching hot. It is like a million degrees. Actually, it's like 86. Might as well be 500. 
And by the time I started adding detail to the back of his mane, the cake was warm. And so when I was pushing my fondant tools on to add detail, it was shifting the cake towards the front of the PVC pipe. It, a disaster. Oh my God, I'm sweating because it was a disaster. Uh, it made Scar's mane look bomb, but I had no idea what the inside of this cake was gonna look like. After I finished adding realistic texture to Scar, I started to paint my cake. Now I'm adding brown to the tips of his mane, and then I'm just gonna blend it in with a lighter brown towards his face. Then I started to work on the rest of Scar's body. Now it's really funny that I actually thought about contouring <laughs> when I was painting this cake. I thought the bony look would make him look even more terrifying. My favorite part about painting this cake was definitely adding red to his scar. I wanted it to look like a fresh wound as opposed to something that's been there his entire life. After I finished painting his eyes yellow, I added a little bit of coconut shavings that I dyed gray to give him some ground coverage and voila. My half realistic, half animated scar was complete. Yes, look at that paint job. What? There are a ton of things I would change about this cake, but because it was the first time I created it, I am totally pleased with this. Will I cut the head open and find out what it looks like? Probably not, because I'm scared. <laughs> But that's okay, because I'll eat his butt. It's pretty juicy. Now I'm curious, by the time this video is released, I'm guessing that The Lion King has already been released. What do you think of the live action version? Did you like it? I haven't seen it yet. I'm seeing it tomorrow. I'm shooting this the Thursday of the release date. I hope it's good. I love Beyonce's new song. Oh, spirit. Da, da, da. I'm not really too familiar with the lyrics yet, but it's still a good song. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what cake you'd like to see me make next, and I will see you very soon. Peace!